Ed, Radical, 2023. Mid Plus or Pro? Which one's for you? Let's find out. What is going on guys and welcome to the video. So Radical, what changed? A new system called Exotic. It is not a material, it is a carbon fiber construction. Ed also kept the control pattern, which basically is a tighter string bed in the mains, in the center of the racket for more precise trajectory. So first off, the MP. As you guys may know, the MP is a tad lighter and faster than the Pro. So it makes it easy to whip up spin, scramble on defense, or react quickly at the net. If you guys were a previous fan of the last generation, the model that was gray and orange, you're gonna love this update. Mostly because of the exotic system which basically enhances vibration dampening and energy absorption, which to me is the difference between this model and the previous model. Because as you can see from the picture here, spec wise, it didn't really change much. For that playtest, I strung it with head hock at 52 pounds. Um, I could have easily went to 54 pounds, like two more pounds. Um, that's just my personal preferences. Even though it is a control oriented racket, I found that hitting from the baseline, I could generate easy power with it. That was actually surprising to me. Um, also something that I noticed is that for me, I would get tons of control on my forehand, but a little bit less on my backhand. This is not uncommon for different rackets, I should say, but it's definitely something that I notice for my game. So if I had to give it a score from the baseline, I would give it a seven out of 10. On volleys, um, for me, this is where this one shines. Like I said uh, previously, it is not the heaviest of racket. Um, as you can see here from the picture, you can see that the weight that I got from that playtest, meaning including the string, the dampener, and the grip, was around 329. Again, guys, this is just like a general guideline because we all know that string does not weight the same. Same thing with the grips and the dampener. But this is just to give you like a, a quick view of what possible weight to expect. So like I said before, usually a heavy racket at the net would give you like the mass, stability, and plow through. But for this one, the MP, I felt like the control was there. Direction-wise uh, and maneuverability was actually pretty good. Even though this racket, when you swing it, like just like a normal swing, like a forehand or a backhand, you can clearly feel the weight in the head of the racket, even though it's still a headlight racket, meaning that the weight is mostly in the handle but you can still feel that a lot of the weight is in the head if that makes sense so for me if i had to give it a score i would say a solid 8.5 on 10 at the net on serve uh, i felt like i had good um, directional control for different kinds of serve like spins or slice i was still missing a little bit of pop a little bit of power um, on my first serve when I wanted to hit like a hard one. Uh, but again, guys, that's just me. So on serve, if I had to give it a score, I would give it like a seven out of 10. If I had to compare this racket, I would say the Technifiber T-Fight ISO 300. So for the Pro, uh, first off, the Pro has the tiniest beam in the Radical family that give you a sweet level of control on full swings. As you can see here, guys, from this picture, 
this is the weight with everything included the strings the dampener and the grip and it comes out to 336 grams which is seven grams more than the mp but you truly feel it um, the pro has enough mass for you to redirect the pace of big hitters it also delivers plenty of power for those who have a good whipping action to me the pro would be more suitable for advanced player in my opinion mostly because of the the mass that it has um, generally speaking i think that many players can actually play with this racket but only for a certain amount of time i would say once you get close to an hour of play your arm might feel the effect for this play test, I also chose the Ed Hawk at 52 pounds because I wanted to get like a good comparison uh, with the MP. And again, for this one, I could have easily go up to 54 pounds. Um, from the baseline, this racket felt rock solid. Great stability, good control, lots of pop. And what I found funny with this racket is that I had a little less control on my forehand than the MP version. I felt that I didn't connect the ball exactly where I was supposed to, that sometimes it would actually sail on me. On the other hand, I thought this was the perfect racket for my backhand. Uh, it seems like it was always in the right place, buttery feel, good plow through, and even on slice as well too. I felt that I could really hit my spot with ease. So from the baseline, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. At the net, um, I was actually expecting it to be quite solid, to be honest, because usually a heavier racket generally goes well at the net because of all the mass that it has. Um, but this pro was just okay for me. I could still get good control and stability, but I felt like I was missing some feel. I didn't quite felt connected to it as much as I would have wanted. Maybe playing more with it, might change my mind on serve and overhead for that matter um, this racket felt great all the mass of this racket coming through the ball made it a breeze to put away smashes on serve i could really feel the extra weight going through on my first serve especially but hitting slice and topspin felt just as good so if you are a player with decent hand feed you could really have fun with this racket. So for that, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10 on serve. If I had to compare this racket, I would still go with the Techni Fiber line, but with the Key Fight ISO 315. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If it did, feel free to give me a like. It helps the channel to grow. Also, if you got any question or comment, make sure to leave them in the comment section. If those rackets and all the gear that I've used in this video seem interesting to you, feel free to visit my store. The link will be down below. Till next time. And remember guys, you got this.